Okay. One of my least favorite auditions had no, was no lines mm -hmm. like yours. Yeah. And but I was supposed to be uh, um, on the verge of being tortured. Okay. So I just had to show them what it looks like to be on the verge of being tortured. Mm. And I was given notes like, now be a little less scared and, and more concerned. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs>
कहा जाके हम लोग गए पास की दुकान थी वहां जाके हम भूल गए इनको वहां सिगरेट पीने लगे
अंदर से बोला नहीं मिलेगी चाबी रख लो चाबी आपके पापा आए हैं अंदर से कहा मेरे टाइप जी क्यों आएंगे वो तो यही आदमी बता पाएगा तो भाई यहाँ एक शख्स है जो क्लेम कर रहा है कि वो आपके पापा है तो आप ये कंफर्म करने के लिए आप क्योंकि मेरे पास कोई टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है इसको समझ ही नहीं आ रही बात तो लग रहा है चाबी चाबी लेने के लिए अलग अलग बहाने बना रहा ये अपनी जोर में खुश है और ये कॉमर्स का था ना तो ये नया नया कूल बना था कूल बनने के लिए दिल्ली आके कुछ लड़कों से दोस्ती करी थी और एमिनम सुनना शुरू किया था पर इसके लिए नहीं था वो मेरा तो लड़का एमिनम समझ लो तुम वहां के लड़के अभी भी मेमोरी कार्ड को चिप बोल रहे हैं यार मैंने से बिल्कुल बोला मैंने कबाड़ी दी प्लीज मान जाओ आपके पापा आए हैं अंदर से कह रहा बड़ी नहीं नहीं अपने पापा का सब नॉट लाइन एक ही मिनट लगेगा वहां आके चेक कर लेना फील में तेरे अंकल आ गए कि हाँ चल के रहा है अंकल आया मैंने कहा अब पता है सारी गलती साथ भी खुद की सब इनकी वजह से हुआ है आगे भी उस दिन आके एक शब्द बोल देते वो लड़का सुन लेता वो बाहर आ जाता सब हो जाता बाप है करेक्ट में रहना यहाँ आके मुझसे कह रहा है कि मम्मी ये तो ना लड़का फिर तुम्हारा बोल दो ना नहीं कुछ खड़ा रहा शांति से मैं आ गए यार पता है सब सच है एकदम से इसका मेरठ ऊपर आया एमिनियम नीचे चला गया और इसका पेशेंस लेवल खत्म हो गया इसे लगा कि अब तो ये बहुत देर से बच्चों निकल रहा है तो अब मुझे ऐसे जवाब देने का टाइम आ चुका है इसने अंदर से इतनी बुरी बुरी गालियां देनी शुरू करी इतनी बुरी बुरी की स्टेज पर तो मैं दे नहीं सकता ऐसे गालियों का लूप चला और मैं सोच रहा हूँ ये वाली तो बहुत एक्सप्लेट कर दिया वैसे चला 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 एकदम से एक लाइन आई और तुझे पता मेरा बाप कितना बड़ा चूती आया बाहर 
Can't understand that. Uh, thank you uh, for the suburbs. Really, lots of work. They, I, I remember him. He's hilarious, obviously, of everything we've seen him in. Great he speaks incredibly fast. Yeah, he's and obviously really there, there's a lot, a lot of words. A lot of words and a lot of stuff that you guys always add the extra thing to make sure that we and anybody else watching understands what's the reference because we don't get the reference. And yeah, he's, he's just a, he's a fantastic storyteller. Such a good storyteller, man. He spent. 20 minutes about one 
one, one story. One story. Yeah. Which one story? It, it, it's also great. I don't know. It, it either he's just a, a really good comedian, and it, he seems like this is he's genuinely laughing at the story, right? Or he literally is laughing at his own story, which I always yeah. love when they crack themselves up. He really feels like because there are some comedians who create a kind of character thing that they do, and there's others who just basically their friends said, "You just need a microphone to get on stage." He feels like the kind of comic who just gets a microphone and gets on stage. That that story, he'd tell it exactly the same way if someone said, hey, uh, at a party, tell the story about what happened with your buddy when his dad came to visit and he was in the bathroom cussing. Yeah. And he would tell it just like that. He'd laugh at the same spots. Yeah, he's really it, just so comfortable and fun to listen the, to. The beginning of Kevin Hart, when, when he was just starting out, he was that was his big thing. So he was very good at just telling a story. Yeah, telling, telling a long it very, story. very funny. Um, and, and all that. So that's a specific style of comics that are very, very good if, yeah. it's, if it's done correctly because it can, it can kind of, it's almost like a, a big movie franchise. It can keep you in this like little world and yeah. you, you're just craving for what, what, what's next that's going to happen. That's really, and then comedians are usually really good because they're always like, this is a true story, but most of the time it's either like they they embellish they embellish on the story yeah. or it's completely fake but obviously it doesn't matter right you're, no, just, you're, you're just looking just for a funny life. story and it very well could be true a yeah. lot of them probably i think a lot of them do tell true stories they just point out the funny parts of right then that's what that's what comedians do they point out the funny nuances in life correct yeah a great storyteller comic if you haven't seen it one of the most iconic american stand-up comic moments is Eddie Murphy delirious. Mm -hmm. And he, I mean, the ice cream man story, the story of his mom hitting him with his shoe. It's just, he's, he's storytelling after storytelling after storytelling and hysterically funny. That, yeah, just, in, I could listen to him tell his stories all day long. Yeah, he's, he's, he's fantastic. Yeah. Um, so let us know more from him and others, uh, other stand up comics and, uh, if if it is him, do give our subbers time. Yes, because I'm sure this takes a lot of work, quite some time to sub. Um, so thank you once again to our beautiful subbers. Uh, you guys are fantastic. Josh!